assisting officer reporting. Lieutenant Gabriel Mastif. Ma'am? I know we're not supposed to know each other's names, but that makes me feel like I'm hiding from this, and I don't like that. Having doubts? This is a paradigm moment in history. Of course I'm having doubts. Article 5A states that both the chief processor and assisting officer be in full compliance with the terms and conditions of the pruning act. Article 7C states that if the assisting officer has any concerns with the chief processor's commitment or state of mind that he- The assisting officer is required to relieve the chief processor of duties and report immediately to Central. Yes, I'm well acquainted with what is contained within the pruning act. Ma'am, this is not a crime we are committing. It's a very necessary step in laying the foundation for a better world. Is it? I, for one, am comfortable with letting the future decide if what we do today was justified. If you're having difficulty, perhaps it might be best to remove yourself and call Central for a Is replacement. Is this really the only course of action? What if we've made a terrible error in judgment? We can no longer afford the luxury of ethical debates. That would take time, and we're out of it. Ma'am. Is that really how you feel? Most certainly. Remember, we're renewing hope for the future of life on this planet. All life. And that is a good thing. Code 19. Affirmative. Code 19. Send in the first file. My name is Cohen. Constable Noah Cohen. Who the hell are you people? You're not cops! Why have I been arrested? I have a few details I'll need you to confirm before we can proceed. It shouldn't take long and then we'll have you on your way. Why have I been arrested? I want to see a lawyer now. Your name is Barney Arthur Jones? Yes. Section ID number 483-409-181-B. Possibly. Now you, you just listen to- February 12th, 2035? I'm not going to answer any more questions without a lawyer As present. As of April of this year, you're an employee of Burns and Smith- I am not going to answer any more questions there without- There will be no lawyer, Mr. Jones! Now, what do you mean? Why not? You graduated from Wilson Hill Post-Secondary 2055. I don't understand! What the fuck is going on here? What have I done?! You have heard of the Pruning Act, Mr. Jones. Pruning Act? No. The Pruning Act was an environmental policy with a very broad scope. Unanimously ratified by all members of the Global Senate in the year 2025 and passed into law by all regional governments by the year 2037. Developed early in this century by an elite cabal of scientists and intelligentsia of the day, it was nurtured to fruition over the years by agents working within various regional governments. The final phase of the Pruning Act is why you and billions of others like you around the world have been quietly rounded up and interred in compounds like this one. Final phase? Listen, none of this makes any sense to me. Three days ago, I was pulled over for a stupid traffic violation, and the next thing I know, I'm being prodded by doctors and thrown in a cell. What the hell is this all about? Have you heard the term carrying capacity? No. Constable, could you please explain the concept of carrying capacity to Mr. Jones? Yes, ma'am. The number of humans has been increasing by roughly 90 million each year since the beginning of the 21st century. There are now just over 10 billion people on this planet. The carrying capacity is the concept that a particular environment has a finite capacity to sustain life. Under this concept, at our current rate of consumption, the Earth can only support two billion people. What's this got to do with me getting arrested? To support life indefinitely, three things must occur. 
Rates of use of renewable resources should not exceed their rates of regeneration. Rates of use of non-renewable resources should not exceed the rates at which renewable sustainable substitutes are being developed. Rates of pollution emission should not exceed the assimilative capacity of the environment. Now, we have just over 10 billion people on this earth. And in order to achieve these goals, we need to reduce the population by 8 billion. Lady, seriously, you're not making any sense to me. He seems to have a problem connecting the dots. A victim of his own DNA. Idiot. Cohen. Ma'am? What does my DNA have to do with anything? Mr. Jones, we've already spent too much time processing you, so I'll try to explain things as quickly as I can. Ma'am? This is not required procedure. Late in the 20th century, behavioral researchers and economists began to notice a pronounced divergence in the buying patterns and lifestyle choices of the populations of most developed nations. It was clear that a small but growing number of people were making better choices for their health, for their environment, and for their local economies. While unfortunately the majority continued to make irresponsible, lazy, and destructive choices, choices that showed no sense of community even when a better, more sustainable course of action was being demonstrated. Why? What was at play here? Who were these people who continued to use fossil fuels, eat meat, buy non-organic products, and value money over life? Uh, you sound like my wife. She's always trying to get me to buy local, free-range, eco-friendly shit. Why the hell would I pay ten bucks for something I could get for five? They just don't get it. What's there to get? For many thousands of years, Homo sapiens lived alongside their less evolved cousins, Homo erectus and the Neanderthals, until eventually, Homo sapiens, by virtue of their greater intelligence and adaptability, became the dominant branch of humanity, while the others became extinct. Is there a point to this? I'm afraid so, Mr. Jones. You see, this process of evolution continues to this day. It hasn't stopped. In 2019, the scientists studying the human genome released a secret report to a special counsel of the Global Senate that presented irrefutable evidence that human evolution had taken another leap forward. That once again, as in the past, two forms of humanity were coexisting. Homo sapien and the newly dubbed Homo consius. The primary distinction between the two is that Homo consius has a slight edge intellectually and emotionally, a superior ability to think three-dimensionally, greater foresight, and an increased tendency to develop closer, stronger social bonds. What the hell are you on about? You're Homo sapien. Yeah, I'm Homo sapien. Big fucking deal. Because of your nature, Homo sapiens have driven this good earth to the brink of destruction. It has become impossible for Homo consius to stand by and do nothing while your species continues to wreak its havoc. Uh, am I hearing this right? Are you throwing me in prison for being human? The short answer is no. You're not being thrown into prison. <laughs> What was that? The machine. Starting its pre-fire cycle. We really need to move this along, ma'am. Machine. Wait. You, you're not- We're killing off all the stupid people. You're exterminating us. Yes, Mr. Jones. He graduated from Wilson Hill Post Secondary, 2055. You can't just exterminate us, that's genocide. After almost a century of being shown the right way, you still refuse to change. You've left us no choice. This is the final solution. Wilson Hill Post Secondary? Well, no, 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 hold on a minute. You, 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 you can't do this. What the hell gives you the right to pass judgment over life like this? It's you or us. So, we chose us. Fuck you! What, what right have you got to do this? Th this is insane! Listen, this is my fucking life! I can do whatever bloody hell I want! You fascist fucks! 
There's no way you'll get away with this! I am not here to tell you what to do or how to live. This is a consequence. A consequence of choices you made of your own volition. Listen, Mr. Jones, the prospect of participating in, in the extermination of eight billion people is not so pleasant to me either. And thank you very much for placing us in this unenviable position, by the way. But you have no one to blame but yourself. Constable. Ma'am. I'm through with Mr. Jones. Yes, ma'am. No, wait! I, I was just minding my own business, quietly living my life like everyone else I know. How was I supposed to know it would come to this? If your kind had heeded the warning signs earlier, perhaps things could have turned out differently. What signs? What signs? Please, I can change. There's got to be something we can work out. I'm sorry, Mr. Jones. That time has passed. No, listen, wait, wait. I have a wife. Kids, they're just children. They need a father. Yes, two children, three and five years old. They're in custody awaiting their test results. Believe me, a father like you will not help their case. What's going to happen to them? Their mother is homoconscious. Pray that your children have inherited the gene mutation. Or they'll have to join you. It's a nightmare. It's a goddamn nightmare, right? Where are you taking me now? To the machine. What, what is this machine? You'll be stepping into a chamber that will be superheated, instantly reducing you to nothing but a puff of vapor. You'll then be harmlessly exhausted into the ground. What? Fuck that! <laughs> you fucking bitch! I'm fucking killing you! <laughs> Are you all right, ma'am? Yes, Constable, thank you. Let's get him into the machine. Yes, ma'am. Guards! Put him in the machine. Central, code 20. Affirmative, code 20, light the fire. Constable. Ma'am. We won't be having any more conversations with these creatures. Yes, ma'am. 